since listening to Don't Two Realize Niggas coming at you hot and bothered. I'm not bothered, but I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm bothered by Taylor, I tell you that. <laughs> much. Whatever. Anyways, welcome back to the Listener Don't Podcast. I'm Taylor. I'm Steven. And we will be having a just. Je- what you was that? Do you just want to. Start over? Or? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what Stephen meant to say <laughs> was that today we will have a guest. Our friend Chase will be here a little bit later. Um, but until then, we're just going to... If you guys know Chase, you know that... Um, if you've been listening for a while, or then, you, then you know Chase. But if you haven't been listening then or don't... <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I make that joke a lot. Like, he'll be like, yeah, I'm going to listen to your podcast, and I'll be like, or don't. Maybe you should, okay, maybe you shouldn't <laughs> make that joke in that sense. Because then they're going to be like, okay, I won't. Yeah, fuck this nigga, Steven. I but, know, um, if I knew me, I'd say that. If I knew me. But I don't know myself, especially not these days. I don't, I don't know myself anymore. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, jumping right into things. So I wanted to br- I wanted to wait to bring this up. Even though I mean we talked about it a little bit, but I wanted to wait to bring it up. So the phone outages the other day, mm-hmm. a lot of people have been saying that it's been like a Chinese cyber attack. I don't know, but I also heard that it was like some solar flares that happened, which is why this shit happened. I don't know which one is the truth, but do you think that it was a Chinese cyber attack, or you but think why, it was just... Why does it fucking matter if it was a Chinese cyber attack? Because check me out. My buddy G, next door, mm-hmm. he, like, works in cybersecurity, and he's, like, all this AI stuff and, like, whatnot. It's, like, happening, and he's, like, it's cool, right? But, like, cybersecurity is, like, at an all-time low. And basically, China already has your fucking information. So does Zimbabwe... No, they weren't trying to... Th- that's uh, They weren't trying to, like, get information from us. They were just trying to, like... So, like, there's, like, God, I'm going to show how much of a nerd I am. Haha, uh-huh, Taylor's a nerd. you going to go watch Star Wars or something? No, that's not what the You're fuck gonna I was going to say. you going to watch some fucking so anyways, Star Galactica? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> anyways, um, so on TikTok, obviously, if you like, like, one video, your algorithm starts showing you, like, a bunch of videos like it. Right. So I w- was, like, coming across all this stuff about, like, EMPs and stuff like that and, like, cyber attacks and everything. And so, for some reason, I don't know why, the general, like, consensus is that pretty soon, you know, especially since it's, like, an election year or everything like that, mm-hmm. there's going to be some type of, like, e- like EMP attack. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Sorry. But um, there's going to be some type of, like, cyber attack or EMP that's going to happen and, like, the power grid is going to go down and, like, basically people are saying like if the power grid goes down it's bad for everybody because power grid like the power grid like Mm -hmm. controls a lot of shit like water pumps like a lot of shit will happen like a lot of people could die if something like that happened but the thing what movie the movie obama made oh uh leave the world behind yeah the obama movie yeah I mean, the Ob- <laughs> calling it the Obama movie is crazy. Um, but, um, hey, I also call burning down hospitals the Obama movie. Hey. He's a dope there. Is he? Hell yeah. Mm. Uh, He's the coolest president other please. than JFK. A no president is the GOAT. I mean, if you're going to choose. I don't want to choose. That's the problem. I mean, I do. I don't. So you I hate black people? What does that have to do with anything? Because Obama's black. I almost said something. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is the power grid, leave the world behind. Yeah, but anyways, like, I don't know, like, a lot of people are just speculating that that, something like, not not that, maybe not that specifically, but a lot of people are speculating that something like that will happen. Why? I don't know why. I don't have, like, the information or any other, like, information leading as to why a lot of people are just saying because only because like you know every election cycle it's always some bullshit like last election cycle it was covid you know yeah i was looking for that one i don't know like ebola or some shit i don't know, I don't know bro. ebola wasn't real and ne- ebola's real you know like no it's a real, real? virus oh like, yeah ebola's real but like the hype around it i guess wasn't like you know, you know what else is real what and totally not unreal covid covid's real 
Yeah, COVID is real. Yeah. Did you have COVID once? No, but I never got COVID. I never got it either. I At least if I did, I if I did get it, I, I never got tested to yeah. verify that. Black people can't get COVID, so I didn't get Black it. Black people can definitely get COVID. I don't know. My sister had COVID. Well, you're, you know. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's just like with the whole like cyber thing. I just thought that was interesting, like with the phones going out the other day and everything. Um, I don't actually know if we'll have a fucking cyber attack in America. I hope not. It sounds miserable. Doesn't sound fun at all, bud. <laughs> what are you going to do all day? Well, I'm, I'm curious. Well, I'm not curious because I don't want it to happen. But if something like that was to happen, I would be curious as to, like, what my role would be because, you know, I work at MIMS. If something like that was to happen, like, and it's like a something where the military has to get involved and stuff like that, I always wanted to know, like, if we go in, like, martial law or some shit like that, does the military handle all emergency services? Because I can stay at home. <laughs> you don't need me. Yeah. Like, if, if the military... But if, if they don't need me, I wouldn't. If the military's going to... Ha- and I don't know. But if the military's going to handle all emergency services in a situation like that, they don't need MIMS. They don't need any ambulance service. They don't even need police. Should police officers them? would be out of job, too. You should call them up. Call who? The military. I'm not calling them. And ask. Let's get let's get the military as a special guest. What are we gonna call like the fucking recruitment office? <laughs> <laughs> them niggas don't know nothing down there. They yeah, just doing their job. The recruitment <laughs> office on the pod would be hilarious, bro. I've, I've talked to a recruiter once, and like back. What right, you gonna go to army? Uh, navy. Navy. Yeah. I could see you on a boat. No, that's exactly why I didn't go. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to be on a boat. Really? Why? Because not only am I on a boat. I'm on a boat for um, months at a time. This is not something that I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and I didn't like. I didn't want to go do something like that. I wouldn't have my. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure they have this. I don't know if they have. Like, do they have a reserve? Is that you, Chase? Okay. Do they have a reserve for every branch, or is it just the army? What do you mean, like the reserves? Because you know, like you like the reserves. Like some oh, people, okay, yeah. like they go work out for a certain amount of time every month or a couple months or something like that and then they come back home and then you only have to go fight if there's like mm-hmm. a, a war which there is a war going on but like if America's involved oh uh, you're good he's at the gym he'll find somewhere else to park <laughs> yeah that's fine that's where he was parked at first anyway hi Chase Hello. our buddy Chase is here Chase is in the building. Chase the money. Chase the money. Chase the money chaser. Chase chase the money chaser. Yeah. I wish I had another thing to say, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Chase? Yeah, Chase is in a crop top. Good thing we don't have the camera on. <laughs> yeah, I think we're a different kind of podcast. Look at this guy. Chase is in here looking hot, y'all. You guys already recording? Yeah. yeah. Well, we haven't been recording for long. Bro got like brown hair. Why do you look normal? But like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I did not have any bleach in it. Yeah, in like bro. Years. <laughs> You're wearing a crop top, but in reality, you look like high school Chase. I do. You wore crop tops in high school? No. Yeah. Jason here dressed like I a little whore. I wonder if boys, because like girls can wear crop tops. I wonder if like a boy showed up in a crop top, would they still get in trouble? At school? Yeah. Oh, I would definitely I mean, say what Chase are the rules? Home. You know. Bro is selling sex right now. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm always selling sex. You can sit. Just whatever you want to sit. I mean, I'll sit right here. I don't want to take Charlie's seat. Yeah, bitch ass nigga threw up in it last night. Oh, really? <laughs> he claimed his territory. Bro, I walked in and bro was looked at me. He goes, <laughs> Like, bro, what yeah, is wrong with you? got the whole me? setup back in this room. Now. You think he was doing it for yeah. attention? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, shit. I guess uh, this might be just. Oh shit! Oh, just readjust. This is, this is probably like a weird intermission. I probably should have stopped I'm recording on, for this. I'm <laughs> on one. I mean, he's here now, so. Oh. I'm here. I'm in it. Is Marshall still the editor? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Hi, Marshall. For as hey, long Marshall. as he'll say yes, I'm just kind of anticipating the day he's like, I don't want to do that shit anymore. <laughs> he, he signed a 360 deal. <laughs> he signed a 360 <laughs> deal. One day he's gonna be like, I actually don't want to edit for y'all anymore. I'm gonna be like, we're fucked. Because I don't know how to do that shit. So. Womp womp. <laughs> Blake's not that hard. 
Chase, you, you want to hit this Bolski? Um, sure. I mean, you're offering. I don't want to say no. What were you, what were I you mean, imagine about? going to the Seth Rogen podcast and him offering you to get you high before recording. Well, I feel him. like they discuss smoking reefer beforehand. Because, like, what if you bring a I mean, guest yeah. on and, like, you don't want to get him contact, huh? But I'd be blowing my weed in Taylor's face. So. I'm used to it at this point. I'm like that baby. Can you give it up? Hello? I'm just going to go ahead and sit on the floor. I was, I was looking for this blanket. Oh, today. that's your blanket? Yeah. That blanket and the chair that's outside. Okay. Yeah. That's your chair? Yeah. The that's blue chair? The black chair. The black so chair. what I'm hearing is you're stealing from Chase. That's no, what no, I'm no, hearing. I'd love to hear one day. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you never bothered to give it back to him? Well, why would I? I he said he was looking for it. So. In forever. I missed his birthday and everything. I'm my mama. Damn. <laughs> tear. Single tear. I wasn't. I have not. I, like, I went out last night. Which is weird, which is something that we have to talk about. Mm-hmm. My last night journey. I just solo doloed, like, no car, no nothing. Got a ride back, met people, bro. Just, like, coasted throughout the not- night on just, like, meeting random people. I mean, so a real vagabond. Bro, it was like some good vagabondage, bro. Join a group, talk to them, like, sold some wheat, or, yeah, fucking sold some fucking. Chronic. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, let me change they know what that is, still. Um, well, hold on. Before you continue, Chase, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fucking... Even though Hello. you've been on this podcast before. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm back, though. Uh, my name is Chase. Taggart. Yeah, if you, if you really want to dox me a full name. <laughs> What's your middle name? Bleep that, bleep that, bleep that. Um, Don't worry, the barb's still listening to this. It starts with an M. That's all you're going to know. Michael. for it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it just rolls off the tongue. That makes a lot of yeah. sense. <laughs> Michael's a weird middle name for you. Yeah, I, I know. What would you? What would, your, what would your alternate middle name be? Well, I could tell you what my girl name would be if I was born a girl. Uh, okay. Oh, what is it? But, uh, so my name would have been Sydney if I was born with female genitalia. Ooh. Okay. Like your parents told you that? No, my actually my sister told me that. So my sister came up with if it's a boy, his name is Chase. If she's a girl, her name is Sydney. Damn, your sister named you? Yeah, my sister named me. You, you said sisters. You have two sisters. No, I have one sister. You have I, a brother? I didn't meet. No, I'm <laughs> no. One sibling <laughs> is all I have. How was that? It's all right. She was um she's about four years older than me. Mm-hmm. So growing up, it was always very much of a. We're in two different generational uh, groups right now, mm-hmm. so don't interact with my friends, and I won't interact with your friends. Of course, I didn't have any friends growing up, so it was just me weirdly trying to hang out with these older girls, <laughs> but not in any kind of weird way. I was just Did they bored. let you hang out with them? Yeah, I mean, so, sometimes. Yeah, your sister was cool? No, no, no. My sister was not cool. She didn't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't I was like, your sister sounds weird because my sister didn't want me hanging out with her friends at all. Oh. <laughs> no, like that yeah. shit. I remember the first time being called annoying in the first grade. My sister had friends over. Mm-hmm. My mom told me I was being annoying, bro, and like explained it, and it destroyed me, bro. And yeah. like, it like did something <laughs> to me. A real humbling that, moment. That I, bro, it'll stick with me for. It's my Hancock asshole moment, bro. Oh no. Yeah, bro. I was like, but I'm bored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't you play with me, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, my well, sometimes I would hang out with my sister and her friends. Like my mom used to, whenever they would go places, like my mom didn't make her like include me, but she was like, if my mom like wanted to be at the house by herself, like you, you, you should take Taylor. Like you should take Taylor. You know, okay. and sometimes she would, sometimes she wouldn't. You know, right. but I mean, for the most part, we had different friend groups like the whole time we were growing up. Like we, only friends we shared were like. At like church or some shit. Like we talk to the same people, but that's about it. So, see, me and my little brother, like we didn't really have the same friends. But like when we played video games, mm-hmm. like he would, if he played on the Xbox, he would play Xbox with my friends. Mm. Like, so we had mutual friends like that. So, and it was like it was like, it was cool, you know. It was like once we finally figured out how to share the playstation and xbox because that shit was really hard to like it is hard at first get down but once he got the ps3 and then i had the xbox it was cool and then as y'all had got, your own shit yeah so. and as we got older my xbox died he was like bro you can come play the ps3 you know 
But anyway, we like, Real yeah, chill. We, we, we have to say video game friend. And also, my one of my best buds growing up was this guy named Marvin. He's Donovan's best friend, so this is his little brother now. A-dudes. What's Bradford. Marvin's last name? Ashford. Are you know Marvin? I know all the Ashfords. They used to go to my church. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. I uh, I don't. I mean, the, granted, this was years ago. Like they, we were young kids. But uh, yeah, I know them. I went to Patricia's uh, wedding because she married. She's A-dude. married. Yeah, she married Adu. You know Adu? He went to Dunbar. What? Yes, yeah. I know Adu. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what an interesting connection. Yeah, That's bro. crazy. I remember when they first got together, bro, in high school. That shit was crazy. You know, whenever your friend like gets a girlfriend, and like I need to you feel you know, the residual. I need to note this because I, I got to tell my sister about this whenever I go <laughs> later today. Uh, like, you, you remember bro. Patricia Ashford? It's crazy. Yeah, those are like people I can say have consistently since sixth grade called me every year for my birthday. Well, but I remember nice. when I didn't have Marvin's phone and getting an Xbox Live message from him, like, happy birthday, dude. <laughs> Life finds a way. Bro, great, great family, bro. Great, black excellence, that family. Yeah, because, like, the dad's, like, a doctor, and the mom's, like, a... Is she a doctor, too? Or she she does something. She makes a lot of... She was, like, a travel agent of some sort. I know Adu's in the medical field. Patricia's in the medical field. Yeah, yeah. I went to elementary school with Adu. And he... Uh, when I was in high school, I mean, we did different high schools, but I saw him at, a, like, somebody's birthday party because... Uh, this girl I used to be friends with in high school named Kalia, she had a birthday party. And, like, he was there. And I was like, man, this guy looks familiar. And, like, we were looking at each other. And he was like, did you go to Williams? And I was like, yeah. Adu? He was like, Taylor? I was like, what the fuck? What's <laughs> up, man? I'm like, yeah. So, no, I remember Adu for sure. Yeah, Adu is great people. Hooper, bro. <clears throat> Definitely shout out Adu without Adu. You know how, like, you choose teams for basketball? Mm-hmm. Adu always chose put me on his team. That's nice. And never, like, chose me last. Nice. You know, I wasn't first. Were you like, getting chosen last otherwise? Sometimes. I feel like I'd get chosen <laughs> last. But, like, playing with Adu, I got better. Because Adu's, like, really hard to beat in basketball. Mm. <laughs> but I was always on Adu's team. He's like LeBron, bro. Like, <laughs> really? Like, his finish game is like LeBron. He's really crazy in the paint. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's crazy. He sounds like a man of excellence. I miss him a lot. Yeah, Adu is a great man. What's uh? Cause Mar- I know Marvin. He has a brother. He has a brother. Um, we well, has two brothers. Marvin. Um, there's he has Mitchell, three brothers. His youngest. Well, well, he's got Mitchell, Patrick, Patrick, and... Patrick. Yes, yes, yes. That's his name. Mm. I don't know the third. If there's another brother, I don't know him. And then I know they have another sister, uh, Miriam. I haven't seen her in a long time either. Yo. But back at it, though. Chase Haggard. Yeah. What the fuck is up? What you been up to, bud? Yeah, what's up? Oh, work and being at home, trying to stay productive, um, or at least feel like I'm spacing out in a good way. I don't know. I feel you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. We're about to, this upcoming March, we're using our, like, production trailer that we built last summer, and we're going to be vendoring it to this company called M&M Productions. The first time I told Zippy, she, she thought I said M&M as in, like, a rapper. I <laughs> <laughs> want to specifically make that distinction. But we are basically, they're going to be using all of our equipment that we've been setting up to shoot this college basketball championship for PBS this March. Mm. And so this involves us like going to stay in Hot Springs from like Tuesday to Sunday. We're going to be there to set the game up. We're going to be there to strike all of it and go back home. Luckily, they're bringing in their own operators for cameras and stuff like that. So we don't have to worry about like running replay or anything like that. But as the engineers and as the people who like have built the truck, we have to know every in and out in case there is a problem because mm. we have to be the ones to step in and fix it. Damn. Interesting. Uh, Sounds fun, though. Yeah. It's been fun hooking this trailer up and kind of outfitting it for this mm. specific uh, production because there's a lot of prep that has to go into that just to make sure we're ready. And that's pretty much where all of the 
the load is going to be heavy is on the preparation side because once it's actually going, it just goes. Mm-hmm. They they do all of that for us. So, hmm. although my boss did say he might throw me in as a camera shader, so I might be sitting in the back uh, adjusting iris, white balancing. Um, adjusting like kind of reds and blues, mm. making cameras match more specifically. But you yeah, drink a beer while you do that? No. <laughs> Give me like. I mean, a lot of people probably cues. find a way. Yeah, especially seasoned um, cameraman. Oh, by the way, I do actually have a story. So, <laughs> All right. this happened Friday. Um, if I can make this long story short. You can make it long. I, 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 you can actually make it short. Here's, here's the bit, though. Here's the, here's the really enticing piece of blood resistance is I received a dead man's $25. Now, let me back you up here for a second. <laughs> let me, yeah, let me need, go through the beginning need here. Need context. So, um, my buddy Grant and I, are, we're just sitting at the shop. We're in the garage, and all of a sudden I hear the, the door in the front open up, and um, I go to check it out, and it's this guy who found a way in and normally the the front door is locked but i guess it wasn't closed all the way so he's walking in through our building and he goes is this where black and white t- taxi cab company used to be and i go well yes it is this building was actually a taxi cab company before we bought it but that was many many years ago mm. and so he was looking for just a driver at this taxi company to give him a letter and some money and let him know that a long time ago he lent a guy uh, a guy lent him $25 and he wanted to pay that guy back and I said well you know we're not that taxi company anymore and he's like oh well then you might as well take it and he's like uh, saying like you might as well take this money and I'm like I don't feel you know right taking this money and like he opens up the letter for me and I see that it's written in like this cursive and so I'm like I'm not even going to try to read this right now mm-hmm. but I'm like okay He's saying, like, I want you to have this. And I'm like, well, if the universe is telling you that you need to give away $25, <laughs> okay, that's your karma, and I understand. And he goes, you get me exactly. And so we say our goodbyes. We wish each other a good weekend. He leaves. And then I'm looking at Grant. I'm like, oh, I don't know what the fuck that was just now. <laughs> so I stop to actually, like, read the letter. And as I'm reading it, it all starts to make sense because basically what the letter is saying is that this man is in recovery and he was recommended by his sponsor to right some of his previous wrongs in his life. Okay, okay. One of them being that he never got to pay this guy back $25. And so knowing that this guy was deceased, he decided that this is just to be on to the next guy. And so I just so happened to be that guy. The next guy. guy. That so is an interesting did story. You keep the letter? I kept the letter and the money's in the letter because now that's imbued with some other kind of otherworldly entity that I can't begin to unpackage yet. That's, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Bro, it's like the Kendrick Lamar song, uh, How Much a Dollar Cost. How Much a Dollar Really Cost. <laughs> I'm not thinking it's necessarily <laughs> the. No? All right. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, no, that's a very interesting yeah. story. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, you said this happened Friday? It happened Friday, yeah, earlier hmm. this week. Cool. Taylor, have you seen Steven Universe? Mm-mm. But there is a song from that show that I really like. What's it called? Um, what's it called? Peace something. Peace, Peace and, and Love on the Planet Earth? Yeah, that song. Sure. I love that song. Yeah, I know but that I've show never seen Inside Out. Out <laughs> and Steven's just now going through it for mm-hmm. the first time. Oh, really? Let me ask you a question. As a grown man, how is it to have a child's cartoon change you as a person? Bro. <laughs> hey man, I feel like that TV show is rated PG. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like finishing Adventure Time changed me. Finishing Adventure Time made me like feel like my childhood ended. You know, okay, it was the end of that. It was your coming of age. Yes, bro. Yeah, okay. I was never really into Adventure Time as a kid. Sleep. That's cool. I mean, I don't know. I was watching a lot of shows that I probably shouldn't have been watching, like when I was a kid. Like I was mm-hmm. into like, I, in the fourth and fifth grade, I was watching fucking True Blood on HBO. Like I was not <laughs> watching. Yeah. I mean, True I still Blood watched. Is, I still watched like crazy. you know Cartoon Network and other shit like that. But I just I watched what my parents watched, and they were watching mm-hmm. those type of shows. Say, I'm mm-hmm. trying to so. watch Bill Skarsgård. Alexander Skarsgård uh. was actually the one in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like seeking out unhinged content? Seeking it out? Yeah, do you like to specifically pick something knowing that it's going to be unhinged and it's going to fuck with you in some kind of psychological way? 
I don't know. I don't know that I do seek it out. I mean, if oh. I come across it and it's interesting, and I'll right. s- I'll stick around, but sure. I don't know that I actually seek it out. Sure. Sometimes I take psychedelics and find the most fuck shit I can. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that makes sense. But, I mean, that makes sense. So I mean, hey, I'm actually I'm just now starting. Um, I know I'm like ten years late, but I'm just now starting Game of Thrones. So mm. damn, how far are you? <laughs> I'm still on season one. Damn. it's good so far. Do you know what happens at all? Like in the show? Yeah. I'm gonna any watch spoilers? the show and find out. Yeah, like, 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 do you know any spoilers? Yeah, I like, do, but like I'm still what? gonna watch the show. I'm not gonna say it. Because I want to, I want to talk about it. I don't, don't want to talk about the it. Listeners, why don't you? I, I mean, I don't want to talk about it because I, I already know it's gonna happen. I don't want to harp on it. Right. You know, I just want to leave it alone, and then when I get to that point, I'll Act be like, like oh, you forget, like all those people you ran over last week when we were hanging out that night, and you were drinking and driving. I work and nights, so I know, you know that this did not happen. Manslaughter McGee. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Manslaughter McGee. Manslaughter McGee. Funny. Nah, but Steven Universe is fire. I will say. I've seen some clips from it. Movie trash. Movies. Okay. There's a movie. I watched it once. Yeah, there's a movie. And then there's a show called Future. I don't know is... how I feel about it yet. I've seen one episode. But I love a good mm-hmm. I love a good um I don't want to be a superhero arc. Oh, okay. You know, like how Spider Man doesn't want to be Spider Man, or you know, I like when Tony sure. McGuire does. He it. throws it off in the trash him. can. Yeah, 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 bro. I love, I, I love arcs like that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, stick with Steven Universe Future. I wasn't sure how I felt about it either, but it concludes nicely. Mm. It's a good epilogue season. Hmm. The ending to the show, it was cool. It was a little it's ball right. of corn. Yeah. It was a little corn ball. <laughs> yeah. I was like. Come on, guys. Some of the he, better moments are definitely. He said, "Talk to me twice." On. He like said the same. He like solved the plot the uh-huh. same way twice in a row. In the yeah, same. it was like that's guys. a big gripe from a lot of people is that he just chooses to use talking, I mean, which is fine. But yeah. like he like he like forces it too hard. I feel like mm-hmm. it's like that's a lesson in itself. Sure, that you can't force people to talk to each other. Yeah, and he's gonna learn that in Steven Universe future. But I'm, <laughs> he's still growing, and that's kind of the biggest like. I I don't know if it's a crutch or if it's a good writing device, but the fact that Steven's still a kid and he's figuring all of it out is kind of a good way to like excuse some of his character flaws. I don't know. Also, I don't. I mean, we're gonna get off of this, but <laughs> I don't like what they did with Connie. That um, never gave when? her shine. She never got any kind of shine. They like built her up to, like they were gonna give her some shine. She got zero shine. I mean, uh, yeah, she was more so sp- just his counterpart, but she was never more than just his counterpart. I, I you can have Stephen without Connie, but you never got Connie without Stephen. Is what you're mm-hmm. implying? Like or like some real Connie beat ass moment. Yeah, which I found. Really whack. So I was like, eh, Connie. Then I was like, okay, okay, Connie. Last thought. Can I get your thoughts on the episode of Last One Out of Beach City? Love what? Last One Out of Beach City. Can I get your thoughts on that episode? Last one episode. That's um where Pearl meets the other pink haired chick. And she like starts to act like a badass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, weird. Yeah, anyways. I was going to let y'all have it. I mean, it sounds like I don't interesting. Know. He, I got his thought. Weird. Yeah. We, we could have did that off mic, but... Okay. See, this is, this is, this is why the people yeah, come that, here. Yeah, cut that. This cut is that. why the yeah, people come that. here. Cut that. No, we're not cutting. Yeah, say something, say something racist, Chase. No, uh, we don't have to do that. Insert bleep here. That's hilarious. Insert bleep here. That's funny. Have yeah. you guys been watching any movies or anything lately? Or seeing any new um, movies? I recommend this movie. It's quite... Uh, it's well known at least among film critics, but it's t- from 2003. It's called Old Boy. And, I feel um, like I've heard of that. Old Boy? Old Boy. Old it's Old on Boy Netflix. You could watch it now. Um, it's uh, a Japanese movie. Ooh. So it's foreign. Um, subtitles. It's really good. A lot of great moments. A lot of good twists. And um, again... Oh, it's As based off of, uh, yeah. That's yeah. what, yeah, I was thinking of, like, 
Yeah, yeah there was an American remake of it. That's what I was thinking. For of. sure. Not. Um, but it's based off the original one from. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch this. Yeah, 2003 is the one you want to yeah, watch. Yeah, 2003 one, not this one. Um, but yeah, as far as good movies go, that's the best one I've seen lately. Uh, yeah, it really look, it does leave a good impression. Do y'all have a, like, because uh, I've seen a lot of people say this about like whenever they have to watch movies or TV shows with like subtitles. Does that like bother y'all or do y'all? That shit really. doesn't bother no. me. I, I don't know. I don't see how people like, you know. If yeah. it's good, I'll mm-hmm. do it. But if it's not good, I can't. There's people like my mom who actually are, get distracted by subtitles and ask me to turn them off. So I don't, I don't get that perspective, but I can ignore them or I can watch them. Yeah. Mm. I feel that. I watched um, The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. I have to watch that. Trey uh, mentioned that last time I talked to him. I was like, I haven't seen it. On Treviews? I saw the Well, not even it. that. I, we were on the phone, and he was like, I watched The Beekeeper, um, and you should watch it. So. I also watched uh, Crank and then Crank Two High Voltage for the first time. I used to those love Crank movies. when I was a kid. I used to love those movies. Yeah, that's crazy that you were watching Crank, bro. I told you I was watching a bunch You're as a kid. Crank. I was watching like just I would just watch shit like I do. Like, <laughs> I looked at the cover of that movie and I knew I wasn't supposed to be watching that movie. That was the first movie I ever saw Jason Statham in, and I and so like now. Well, not now, but from that moment on, I'd be like, that's the guy from Crank. And now, obviously, I've seen him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, now I've seen like him in a bunch of other shit. I don't refer to him like that. But as a kid, I'd be like, that's the guy from Crank. Like, yeah. you know, that's, so. Mm-hmm. My granny watches movies. Like, my granny always had like a closet full of DVDs. I feel like everybody's grandparents had that, though, for sure. Because <laughs> my VHS? grandparents were like that, too. Uh, she got rid of her VHSs hmm. and then went to DVDs. And now, yeah. now DVDs are fucking obsolete. That's crazy. Yeah, what my grandma gonna do? But <laughs> <laughs> um, she fucking transport. I remember watching Transporter with her. Mm. She definitely would put some shit on that a child should not be watching, bro. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what movie it is, but I just remember this girl being like locked up in this room, like hanging, and it's like high as fuck in the desert. And then this guy just like looks up there, like drives away, and leaves her there. I think it might be like Texas Chainsaw Mask. I don't know. It was some movie that I, I shouldn't know. have been watching. It's this one movie that my mom was watching one time when I was a kid. It was called Hard Candy. And it was about, and I found it like anybody who's ever seen this movie, I could be getting the plot wrong because keep in mind it's been over 10 years since I've seen it. Um, but this guy, I don't know if he sexually assaulted this girl or he would like take inappropriate pictures of young women. But I think he would also, like, do stuff with them as well. Right. Anyways, this happened to this the girl. The woman of the pictures. The woman. Uh. God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, the girl, like, escapes him or whatever. Right. But she, like, finds him and, like, tr- cuts his dick off or something like that. I, it's yeah. been a long time since I've seen that movie. But I just, like, I it keep I'm, like, eight, like, watching this. And I'm just, like, maybe I shouldn't be watching this i don't know but that was an interesting movie but um, why'd you say young women and then proceed to say the word dick off why don't you call it a penis taylor because when i was saying penis in the mic earlier it was you were saying penis for the hell of it like you were you had no direction what you were were just like penis 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 we didn't need that at the time (laughs) we did not need that at the time no direction with the penis. A That's couple, the name of this podcast. So months ago, I finally watched um, fucking uh, what was the movie? It's a foreign film. It won an Oscar a couple years a ago. Film. I know Parasite? you watched film. Parasite. I watched Parasite Parasite's finally. Good. Parasite was really good. It. it was pretty good. I want to watch it. Do you want to watch Parasite after this? Or you got a day after this? Let's close. Um, yeah, I could watch Parasite after this, or we could watch Old Boy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Basically, he's we'll like, see. we're gonna watch Parasite. Watched, you just watched Old Boy, though. I didn't just watch Old Boy. Oh, I thought you just watched Old Boy. I I said it's the movie that's left the biggest impression on me recently. I watched it a couple months ago, and it still has me reeling. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. So this is the version that's on Netflix, and not the 2013 version. Yes, correct. Okay. 
Elizabeth Warren's home? Oh, Parasite. What did you think of it? I thought it was pretty good. Um, I didn't know like what, what it was. Spoilers? I'm not gonna spoil it. I didn't know what it was about <laughs> at first, and um, I don't. I just don't know how I feel about the ending. Like I hate. I, I, I kind of hate movies like that because it's like, oh, are they ever gonna? Okay. What's gonna happen? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I need a clear yeah. answer. Like you know, but I it was a good movie. I liked it. All right, Tom Holland. What? Tom Holland's notorious for uh, spoiling movies yeah. with scripts. <laughs> Anyways. Nerd. <laughs> what? Battlestar Galactica. I don't know what that is. You keep. This is the second time you've brought that up. I don't know what Battlestar Galactica is. Do you know what Battlestar Galactica is? No. <laughs> really? I know the name. I've heard the yeah, I've heard the I've name, watched, but I don't know. I've watched enough episodes of Big Bang Theory to hear them talk about it, but I don't know what it fucking means. How do you guys feel about BBT? I don't BBT. like it. Yeah, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, yeah I've never watched fan. it before. Really? I watched it a lot as a kid, and then I stopped finding it funny. If I'll, I'm being honest, yeah. I watched it all a couple years ago. I was like, okay. you know what's crazy? And I don't know if anybody else feels this way. It may just be me. Modern sitcoms, I can't get into. Yeah, same. like mm. I'll wa- now I'll watch reruns of like mm-hmm. '90s sitcoms all day, but modern sitcoms, I'm just not into them. A really good new one I've seen is if you're watching is Abbott Elementary. Abbott I Elementary love Abbott, is so but I, when I and this is maybe this is and this is like another question that I have: Do we consider like stuff like that sitcoms though? Because when I think of sitcoms, I think of laugh tracks. I think of like stuff like yeah. that. Would, would you space. call The Office it's a an sitcom? Office space yeah. sitcom? I don't know. I'm, I I, I, so I guess the so type of sitcom. So there's a lot of audience type versus. So the shows, basically the ones that I'm talking about that I can't get into are like the ones like with laugh tracks. Like, you know, they that say something funny. Show. then they So stuff like right, that. I like that, that 70s show. Yeah, that's not a modern. Like the, when I say modern, I mean shit that's coming out now. I've seen all of that 70s show. I love it. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But I just can't get into like modern sitcoms with like even. It, I don't even know if they still do live studio audiences. But I mean, you know. <clears throat> it's just I don't know I haven't really seen any good ones writers. but no I love Abbott Elementary I'm, I need to watch the newest episode but um it's really good uh, situation comedy situation comedy stealing. like an apartment full of wacky roommates or also like New Girl yo you fuck with New Girl I've never actually watched it fully through but I've seen I some have. episodes it's I like to I consider myself Zoe Deschanel I'm quirky you say it like you don't think she's quirky? No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm quirky. I'm Zoe De Chanel, bro. What do you have against Zoe De Chanel? I, I have nothing. I'm Where quirky. is Zoe De? Does she still I, do shit? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't yeah. seen her since New Girl. I, so. just, I just feel like um, I have three roommates. That's my That's Zoe, Zoe De Chanel. <laughs> you definitely have beef with her. For some, you no, definitely me, have beef let me with her. A version of Zoe De Chanel and Yes Man, starring Jim Carrey. Uh, let me hear that, Zoe Deschanel. Let me oh hear. Oh God. Let me hear what range you have. Oh wow, you're, you're an Alice Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> that Jim Carrey saying that? That's it, Zoe Deschanel. Wow, you're on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is funny. Okay. Um, I've seen Yes Man a lot of times, but I cannot recount anything other than him going to the gas station and being like, "It's good on mileage." about it yeah um uh, let's see what else what other, so what other sitcoms do, y- do y'all like sitcoms like what, what ones do y'all like i don't particularly watch a lot of normal sitcoms or like mm-hmm. um i don't like stuff like modern family i do like um, i never you know i never got into modern family and mm-hmm. I, I know it was on for like fucking 10 years i never got yeah. into it malcolm in the middle i love malcolm I feel like middle. it's a like good, it, yeah. good classic um mm-hmm. let's see what else i don't know Yo, I got something for you. Yeah. What's up? Norbit. What? Yeah. All right. Yellow it Face. Is Eddie Murphy's <laughs> best movie. No. Yellow Face? Definitely Yellow Face for sure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but Norbit's funny, but it's, it's not. It's a top it's three Eddie Murphy movie. And I don't think it's two or three. I don't know. When I think of Eddie Murphy's career, Norbit doesn't even come into my yeah. mind. You're putting Norbit over... Nutty Professor One and Two, basically, is what you're saying. Yes. Which, uh, which, 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 <laughs> which? <laughs> I know you have some hesitation in saying that. But which Nutty Professor is the one with Janet Jackson? Is that two? That's one. 
right? Is it or JD Pinkett Smith is in one? I don't know. That's Whichever one with question. Janet is the one I like more. No disrespect to Jada Pinkett. I definitely do get the, the topics of the two mixed up. I just remember the second one is where he's losing his like brain cells. Mm-hmm. That's the only distinction I can make. Yeah, Nutty Professor mind. was good. Um, what a, what other Eddie Murphy? Him as the grandma gets stuck in my head a lot when he's like, "Come on, Cletus! Come on, Cletus! I'm here! Come on!" <laughs> so, ooh, all right. Nutty Professor over and over a bit. For me, yes. No, 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 I'll give you another professor over Norbit. I was talking reckless. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. If to you like viewers. Norbit, that's cool. I, I just like don't think that it's okay. You know. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no professor is fire. Is I don't know if you would, if any of you would know the answer to this. Is Martin Lawrence banned from SNL? I've never know. seen him on there, but I feel like I heard something a while ago that. Somebody said he was banned from SNL because the last time he was on there, he made some type of joke or hey, something yo, like Jamie, that. Can you check that for us? I don't know why you want to pretend. <laughs> hey, Alexa. <laughs> Damn, that'd be so cool. We just get oh, Charlie yeah. to be our Get assistant. an Alexa. All right, what well, Alexa is, is... Don't get an Alexa because I'm going to say, hey, Alexa, play Diary of Re- Reverb at 11 volume and then ruin your podcast. <laughs> it's Martin. Mean? Oh, uh, well, when you when you, you say not know volume, how to spell when you say volume eleven, that means that you it goes at the loudest volume and you can't turn it down until it's it's over. <laughs> oh, uh, Banned from SNL. Shane Gillis was on SNL last night. Apparently, none of that section was planned. Which one against Lauren Michaels? Hard and fast rule of no improv. That is pretty crass, even by '90s standards. That led him to being banned, not just from SNL, but from NBC as a whole. Damn, what did he say? I wonder what it was that NBC as a whole. I wonder what he what it was that he said. They have a no improv rule on SNL. I guess that would make sense. Because if you start uh, improv, grotesque reason. A grotesque. Reason. Let's see. I don't know, Chase. Wow. Give us a TLDR of this. To, okay, you want me to just skim it? Yeah. Okay. Perhaps often erratic. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. Sat on. Okay. Female hygiene. Comments about female hygiene. Ah. Oh. On a single man. Scroll the down a little bit. Right? Cutting off her husband's penis. Oh. Included several jokes that already pushed the boundaries of SNL's strict rules. Lawrence descended into a bizarre tirade about female anatomy and the personal hygiene of women. How come I've never seen a clip of this? Bear, how come we've never seen they a clip it. of Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game? I think somebody... somebody <laughs> No, it wasn't a clip of the 100-point game. They just posted a clip of him playing. But anyways, I feel like if this... I'm not saying it's not true, obviously, because he... I mean, I've never seen him on SNL. Granted, I don't really watch, but how come there's no clip available of this? It's live, isn't it? Somebody has to have a clip. I don't know. You got me curious now. Is it like a false memory? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I've never heard anybody talk about it, you know. Hey, it's right here. When was the last time he was on SNL? In the 90s? That's how it makes sense. I mean, I'm not going to play this, but... Well, it's on the SNL website. Uh, I don't shot his pants on and then he gets fucking sex with it. Yeah, this is it. Oh, wow. Aren't you there it is. It? You found huh? the clip right there. Aren't you, you don't want to get banned by SNL? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't want to have it in the background. Yeah. I'll watch it eventually. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It, the only reason I thought of it is because like, I've never seen Martin on SNL before, so... She go Martin to like SNL. That's cool. Hey Taylor, how much would it uh, you have to be paid to surrogate a, a child? A lot of fucking money. Because <laughs> okay. I honestly, I, that's not something that I want to deal with. I've <laughs> ever since I was young, like a little girl, I've told myself I don't want to have kids. Mm-hmm. Like I was like ten years old. Like I don't want to do that. I would see pregnant women and be like, wow. <laughs> that's, crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It won't be yeah, me. You're gonna let that happen so, so wow. It, like you have to be paying me some money for mm. me to have to put mm. up with that. So I find it so funny whenever women say, Yeah, when I was a little girl, you know, because guys don't be like whenever I was a little boy, I feel like but I always hear girls say, When I was a little girl I mean, okay. That's cause I say when I was a little tyke. 
<laughs> when I was a little tyke. Back when I was a jit. Don't say that. You don't say that. I do. No, you don't. You just, you just said it, but you don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think jit rubs off the tongue nice for me? No. Hey, jit. Stop, please. Hey, Chase, jit. how many jits you think you could have? Uh, <laughs> how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a how wood much chuck jit could a jit, 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 jit? How many lows could Rob Lowe rob if Rob Lowe could rob lows? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real thing you just come up I with? I heard it? it somewhere before. Somewhere. I don't remember where, but I heard it somewhere before. I bet you're just, you know, back in the game. I was never in the game. <laughs> I'm not a. I was never refuses to, like, acknowledge. quit her job. Yeah, I have a good a job. I'm not good. Well, I'm definitely not doing that. I will have to start from the ground up. Oh man! Um, speaking of rappers, I was watching some new music videos the other day with Zippy, and um, we saw a pretty good one by Schoolboy Q. He's mm-hmm. got a, a, a new music video out. Mm-hmm. Very good production detail. And then immediately after, we watched the new Wiz Khalifa music video, and it was just like botch quality. Like it was just Wiz standing on a balcony, like not even rapping his own song, just dancing and played through his own song. Mm-hmm. And I was like. That's a stark comparison. <laughs> was was the Wiz Khalifa song good? I don't, I don't really think it was that good. All I smoke is papers, chilling with Taylor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Gay. Were you Taylor Gay? No. Nah. They don't roll. Some oh, roll, some kids roll. tried to fight me one time in middle oh. school because I said like Taylor Gang on Facebook or some shit, and then the next day they were like, "Did you say Taylor Gang on Facebook?" I was like, "Yeah." Like, well, I mean, like what? You're not the Wiz Khalifa doesn't know you. Like, he doesn't know who you are. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's this thing in my middle school, sixth grade, called Jerk Squad. Jerk Squad. And, yeah, bro. It was like a little gang guy, or they. But in order to be in Jerk Squad, you have to be able to jerk. But also, you had to pin drop. I couldn't pin drop drop. for shit. Oh, my God. I just felt like an ACL fucking knee (laughs) tear. I was jealous of the people who could do it. No, I could never do that. Did y'all have Nerdy Fresh at y'all's? Dirty Fresh? Nerdy Fresh. That was like a game. I say gang. Mm-hmm. And they only the <laughs> principals called it a gang because like they ended up like being this big fight. But anyways, like I don't know what the fuck they were doing with that shit. It was like nerdy fresh and then like some other shit. I don't know. You know, uh remember Ho Hop? Yes. Ho Hop. Ho Hop. Ho Hop. <laughs> Ho Hop. Was like, what the fuck is Ho Hop? I would go to school every day and be like, You guys are like, what are y'all doing? Like, <laughs> like it's ridiculous. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy, bro. Ho Hop would got kinda a little big. I saw a little ho. I saw a couple mm-hmm. ho hops. It spanned it over multiple schools. Yeah. yeah so you know I mean, ho hop? No. He ain't, in the, he ain't in the field. I don't think that was really his demographic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the white kids were in ho hops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't think that he was talking to anybody who was dealing with that type of shit. <laughs> no. What middle school did you go to? Um, Henderson for two years, and then Horseman for the last. Uh, Why did you switch? I just kind of wanted to go to Horseman. I went to Mableville 6th grade, Horseman 78. Hmm. You went to Horseman? I did. Oh, wait, you're two years older than me. Yeah. Okay. I went to you went to Horseman? It's very weird, though. Yeah. You know what? You might that tells re- me a lot about you, like actually. Everybody went to fucking Horseman. Oh you my might gosh. relate to this conundrum, but nothing was worse than going to Horseman and my parents being like, well, we didn't know what you wanted to do with the arts or the science, so we just put you on the science oh, side. Bro. And now I got to do a fucking science project every year. Dude, my downhill... I got... Yo, I got to remember getting a fucking D on the project, but getting an honorable mention in science fair, bro. <laughs> and that happened every time I did the science fair, bro. I would fucking fail in class and then get honorable mention at the that actual makes no fucking sense. science fair, bro. You would think that would mean you get a good grade. Yeah. I yeah. went to Forest Heights all three of my middle school years. Very, this is like, bro, I'm like mad again. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was like, I usually built something for mine, bro. <clears throat> and I built a bridge for this one project. Mm-hmm. And she was like, all right, well, this is kind of trash and your paper sucks. Do it again. I'll let you do it again. I'm like, bet, bro. So I go all out, get balsa wood, bro. And like, I built this bridge. And it's like this. And you're like, supposed to be able to hang something off of it and mm-hmm. it not collapse so you could do it. 
and I'm like bringing it to class, and I have to go get my lunch. So I ask my friend Liam to hold it for me. No, what happened? And Central no. High School, bro. Someone fucking no. runs into him. And I get to Liam, and my shit's destroyed, bro. Oh. That's your whiplash leaving the book down and like it getting stolen moment. <laughs> I don't know. I would have. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I, let me guess your teacher didn't care for an explanation. She just. Bro, it was like she gave me a second chance. It was kind of like, damn, bro. Oh, that was your second chance. That yeah, was that your was second, second chance, chance bro. Yeah. And it was fire. That's fucked up. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Science Side was. That shit ruined school for me. <laughs> That shit ruined school for me. Science for ruined science for me. Yep. For sure. Only time I had to do science fair was like when I was in elementary school. Like you were required to do a science project every year at the end. And I remember one year I did like the different birds and shit. I got first place. And then one year I did like glue. Like the different types of glue. I did rocks one year. That's all I got. I, the other two years, I can't remember. But I know for a fact I did those three. And then one year, I got, like, a honor, like two years in a row, I got first place. And then the next year, I got, like, honorable, like, mention. And I was like, how the fuck did I go from, like, first place to honorable mention? Like, I got a, I did a gramophone, made a gramophone out of cool. cans for the one in eighth grade. And the, so I remember now, in ninth grade, I did, how long does it take nails to rust in different solutions? And then she was like... That's trash. <laughs> how, is that, how is that trash? I don't understand. It was, it was, it was kind of trash. It was kind of trash. Oh, it was a, a pre AP class. I don't know. Maybe oh, she okay. just thought I could do better. And okay. I did do better. And that's why it hurt so bad. Because I actually did do better. And she mm. didn't even get to see it. Why didn't you get to see it? Because it got destroyed. Oh, the shit. Also, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was your. Like, you tried to do the nail shit first. And then you were like, well, let me do. I tried to do the nail shit. And I turned it in. And she said, ass. I wish I'm, just, I'm just picturing your teacher being like, ass. ass. Like, and then you like you just walk out like, okay, I'll try again tomorrow or whatever. Or whenever. You get an A for ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was fine, too. Your science teacher? Was this an older woman? I mean, she was probably in her 30s back then. Oh, okay. I know the only science teacher at Central I want to talk about was Miss Travis. Yeah, who's that one teacher that you got in trouble with? The astrology teacher. Yeah, bro. No, you astrology. An astrology Ast- no, astronomy. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was I like, I we have any of that shit. Yo. No. I remember I tell stories and shit in that class. Like, we'd be doing the work, and I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not that good at astronomy, but people, you know, they fucked with me. So, you know, I got to be in a group of people. So, you know, I'm cheating and telling these stories. I'm just making up stories and. I'm, Oh, Hannah, because her real name was Anna. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like Disney stories, bro, like, or like adventure stories. And she said she wasn't listening, bro, but I knew she was, bro, because I added a lady in there. She was always the villain, and (laughs) her name was Ohana. And then one day she, like, mentions, like, one of my stories to me and passes, like, on the computer about Ohana, and I was like, you know, like, Ohana kind of sounds like Anna, like, kind of like, you're Ohana. She's like, I'm not Ohana. That was a convoluted story to tell you, I feel like, you don't understand what I'm saying. She didn't like that she was a villain in all the stories. Is this the teacher? Yeah, the astronomy teacher. Okay. But she was cool, though. She all was cool. The other teachers didn't like her either, though. When I had her in that class, she actually had to go for maternity leave. So this coach was substituting for weeks. And I swear, we watched the same episode of Cosmos like three times. Did y'all tell him, hey, we watched this last time? He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you just go to the stage? I would. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times. Man, that shit was like such a privilege. Like... Yeah, just being an average, like, theater student was a very big privilege, and for sure. I went to regular English in 10th grade after Miss Shuddy. God, you failed me. Right, right. She she looked at me. She pulled me. To, she told me to stay after class one day. She said, my son, you know, I taught my son one time, and you remind me of him a lot. And she goes, and I failed him. 
and I will fail you too, Stephen. And I was like, she failed her son. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I David. took I took summer school because of that bitch in that <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, what she What did she teach? English. English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The te- English teacher there were pretty hardcore though. Mr. Morris being the best one. He owns Flyway. Neat. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you don't believe me? I wish we had a camera so they could see that hurtful look Chase just gave me. <laughs> oh, no shit. <laughs> the viewers are going to hear about this. This this, this is going to be a long boy. But fucking. I am a long boy. Okay. <laughs> I, um, I'm i six foot three. That's the joke. Regular I'm English a very small man crazy. other than that. Regular English was any regular class was low key insane. It was like, oh my god, it is honestly. I took, I mean, I took, I had a mixture of like regular and pre AP, and I liked regular classes. Me too. I didn't feel any type of way being irregular. I didn't feel any type of way. It was a pill I had to swallow at first, and then I was like, damn. Sometimes you gotta take a regular class. Sometimes, yeah, but no, I mean, I feel like. Cause I think twelve, I don't know if it was eleven or twelfth grade. I had like regular like history or some shit like that, or pre. I don't know. Well, they didn't have pre AP, but I don't know. Those classes, I don't think they were any less challenging than the fucking AP shit. history was always fun, bro. We had this one. Did you have Mr. Parson? I had Mr. Hill, hmm. and this guy out in the trailers, but he was this white guy. And I remember me and this guy, Nick Casey, would always, like, roast him and shit. And we'd be like, heavy taxes during all the lessons and stuff. We were, like, obnoxious, but we were also interested and, in, like, having fun. It was, it, was, it was just lit in that mm-hmm. bitch. But we were, like, good. And I remember he told us to, like, he was like, you guys are, like, smart. Stop slacking. And mm-hmm. we were like, oh shit, okay. And then one day... He goes through this lesson, and Don King comes up on the board, bro. And he's like, and this right here is a picture of Steven. And proceeds to cook me, bro, in front of the whole class, bro. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Bro, he guy, that's an it. example out of bro, you. Bro, he got that shit back in blood so hard. Shout out him, man. I don't think I had any, like, super memorable teachers at Forest Heights. Parkview, I did have some good teachers, though, for sure. Oh, I'm doing, um, we got a project coming up for Parkview at my job. Oh, really? What is it? Um, they're doing like a broadcast program. And oh. so they're using our company to come in and, and install a system for them to use cameras and all this kind of stuff to teach kids how to do that live kind of production switching and stuff. So they did that shit when I was there. I know, right? <laughs> like, damn. It would have been cool. I definitely would have been in those classes for sure. But yeah, they were walking me through the hall, and the principal was like, this is a high school now. And literally, it was just, like, girls <coughs> recording TikToks on the side. And, like, <laughs> it's ridiculous to me that I guess you get I to have it. your phone with such leisure now. And uh, we didn't get any of that. Well, oh. like, uh, 11th or 12th oh, grade, they changed the... me about taking that picture. What did you say? 11th you took or... a picture? Yeah. Of what? You guys of recording. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Well, I mean, you didn't, like, get permissions to use my likeness, so you will be hearing from my lawyer. It's not your fucking likeness. It's you. How is that your likeness? It's just it's a picture of you. It's not a likeness of you. It's Steven, do you know anything you about, don't. like, <laughs> brand recognition? Do you know think about the law, Chase? You're not about the Saul Goodman me. <laughs> Saul Goodman. Better call Saul. <laughs> Not our Steven. Oh, no. He would never hit a Cleveland steamer on someone. Yeah. That's that's the lawyer hand. Your Honor, you are what you eat. And if that's the case, then my client are innocent men. Oh, my gosh. Is that something he said? Is that a quote? No. I thought it was funny, though. What else we got? I don't know. What were we talking about? Park School you? or <laughs> shit? Uh, School. Beating my... But no, you... Because you said something about how having your phone, like, freely or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And they told us... I don't know if it was 11th or 12th grade, whenever I was still it in was high school. It was 11th grade. 
for me, so it was twelve years for you. You know what you're talking about. So they told us that like you could have as long as you like aren't on your phones in class, you could have your phones on you. So they mm-hmm. stopped like, like they stopped scanning and shit mm-hmm. like shit like that. So random scan, if you think about it, is kind of crazy. Okay, so <laughs> in middle school, I don't know. I don't know how I got this backpack, but I found like a big red camping backpack in like my parents like washroom or something like mm-hmm. that. And keep in mind, we were supposed to have like clear mesh backpacks. I was just like, fuck that. So I started going to school with this big ass red camping backpack. I never got in trouble for it. And so they obviously were like doing random scanning. So because this was a camping backpack, you had pockets on pockets and shit like that. Mm, that so, you got like, a, you got like a Swiss Army knife in there that they're going to catch you with? I could, I, that they would have never found it. But um, no, like I would just put my phone, there was like a zipper and then inside the zipper there was another zipper and everything like that and then I could cover it with a flap. They never thought to look in that never. shit. So, and then like they, I'm still curious as to why they never said anything about me not having a clear mesh backpack. Like that thing was like bright red and it was huge. Like I don't know how I got past it. The security guard every day with that, but I, I mean, did. The country so. boys were definitely coming to school and they had knives on them. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember my homie Taylor, which was like weird, cause like with the country boys, cause that was like the, like the Trump like height, but we all bonded through fucking working on a set, <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like what those an interesting are my guys. Thing to bond on. I call them the Kellers. I'm I'm um the miracle worker, and they're my Kellers. But anyway, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Miracle Man and the Kellers. But fucking um, yeah, bro. Bro would just like pull a knife out to cut something open. I'm like, damn, bro, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, you just I mean, I guess as long as they didn't get caught with it, that's all that matters. So. But like, why can't you have a knife? At school, like I can think of a few reasons why high schoolers shouldn't have knives. It's just on them. You gotta open a box. If it's no, like a class yeah, like that, like there should be something. I almost got expelled for bringing a pocket knife into middle school one day. Well, that's knife. middle school. Yeah. Well, why'd you do that? You're gonna kill somebody? No. I'll leave High school either there. though. Kids are emotional. Chase is. You get a, you get into an argument with somebody and they pull out a knife just because you said their shoes were fucking ugly. Like that could create some yeah, problems. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. There's some niggas I would have cut for saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Speaking of me murdering someone, Zippy had some crazy nightmares last night. You murdered somebody in there. Hold on. Pause. Now, li- okay, <laughs> so she told me two nightmares she had, right? And so both of them involved me cheating. And she said the first one was her and Sydney went out to go eat, and then they uh, had to leave the restaurant because it was full, and so they go to a different restaurant, and there they find me eating with another girl. And this girl is saying uh, a bunch of bad stuff towards Zippy, apparently being like, oh, we've been talking forever, this and that. Yeah, it, we've been seeing each other, all this and that. And then so that dream ended, and then she had another one. But this nightmare was I was cheating on her with multiple people. However, I would just kill these people and then be done with it. And she was telling me these, and I'm like, okay, honestly, the more, like, realistic one is the latter because yeah, I, was that I, I was like, there's no way I would just have a random girl around here with me in her head. I'm like, I'm not going to have that walking around. I, I, if they don't exist, I, I didn't cheat you. on you. So might as well kill them and be done with it. That's crazy. The more realistic one is the latter, though. Yeah, Unfor- unfortunately. Sure. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> so. Well, shit. You ready to wrap this up? Yeah. Let's not get these viewers pregnant. <laughs> Okay, whatever the fuck that means. Because we're going to wrap it up. Charlie, you got any last words for this, man? You got to help your father out. His back is turned. He's so over it. <laughs> like, he's not, like, he's like, y'all been here way too long. Like, <laughs> Well, I guess that's it, then. We got to give him some peace. Well, Chase, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me again, Always guys. a pleasure having yeah. you on the Chase, pod. Chase, you want to sign us off? Um, yeah, I mean, is there any kind of, like, the dynamic, that kind of, any kind of flow I need to keep in mind? Any, any One direction, of us. motivation, anything? So basically, it's just the name of our podcast, but one of us says the first part, and the other one says the last part. And the podcast is listen or don't. Right. All right, gamers. <laughs> it's been an amazing podcast here on the listen or don't podcast, but that's it for today. So we're going to wrap it up. Don't okay. play too hard. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>